everybody, Tyler here once again with Zoga TV and I'm joined by my lovely friend, Angela from Internationally Me. Thank you for having me again. No problem, thank you for coming. So today we are gonna check out one of the oldest teppanyaki restaurants in not just Kobe, but all of Japan. Wow, that's freaking amazing. So I'm pretty excited to get some of that nice, yummy Kobe beef. It'll be my first time actually trying real legit Kobe beef. Same here because I'm usually extremely poor, so uh, I don't usually get the chance to eat you. some delicious Kobe beef. But we have a little <laughs> bit more time before dinner starts, mm -hmm. so we're gonna go check out some other areas in Kobe that I think are pretty interesting. Awesome. Ready I'm to go? all about the exploring, so let's do it. All right, let's go. It's twice as wide as me. Oh my god, <laughs> looking at me. Mm -hmm. I'm my ham. Garlic, buttery. Wow, that looks really good. Oh, yeah. I never cut a woman like that. <laughs> I know, it's so crazy. Because like, like, it even like slides down the knife. We'll take a little bite and then we'll rate. Yes. Give it a rating out of ten. I'm gonna take the the one that's got the most flavor on. I haven't had lobster in Japan for a long time. First of all, it smells really good. I'm gonna cry. Mm. I'm like legitimately gonna cry. Like this is so good. The school says it's a very unique flavor, right? Because of all the flavors mixed together. I like the fact that... I love the sauce. The sauce doesn't... You can still taste the lobster with mm, the sauce. Mm. It doesn't overpower the lobster. That's a that's a straight up nine. Wait, like, you were right gonna go three to one. I'm sorry. I, I, can't, I can't hold it in. That's a nine for me. Sorry. The chef looks happy. <laughs> he, he, he likes looking at his customers. I, I, I can't... I don't think I'm gonna be able to eat normal food now. Yeah, so that mark means it's the legit Kobe Kobe beef. So we're eating legit Kobe beef. And they, they even have, this place is cool because they even give you, they show you the, the like, show me show, like, the proof that it's actually go big you when you eat here. That is awesome. Oh, wow, he shows you everything. Like, cert certificate, the whole nine yards. Oh, so he's proven to us that it is real go big by showing us all these. Actually, yeah, typically if you don't, if you don't see these things, yeah. it's not real Kobe Gyu. Like, this is kind of required for it to be, like, proper Kobe Gyu. Are you ready for the beef master? It actually looks huge. Right? That's a big chunk of meat. Oh, God. Mm. 
、えー、創業が1945年昭和20年になりまして、えー、アメリカの進駐軍の方に、えー、お肉を焼いて差し上げたのが鉄板焼きステーキの始まるきっかけになりましたお肉の方は、えー、神戸牛はもちろんなんですけども、えー、神戸牛以外の厳選したタフ県のお肉も使用しております、えー、焼き方の特徴については、えー、お肉とニンニクを一緒に、えー、ステーキカバーをして、えー、蒸し焼きにすることで、えー、ステーキにニンニクの香りもつきニンニクの方にお肉のエキスも So, yeah, this is your first time, right? Yeah, it's my first time eating Kobe beef, so I don't even know what to expect. I mean, the vegetables were already amazing, and the lobster, and I mean, the sauce they use is so unique. I mean, they mix all the sauces together, but it doesn't overpower the flavor, so <sighs> looking forward to it. So, Here's my first experience with real, holy crap, Kobe beef. That's a different animal. That's a different animal. <laughs> That's not a cow. That's not a cow. It's a cow <laughs> that they said they play relaxing music to it. Mm. They sit in the farm. They massage it. They, mas they get massaged. Let it drink beer. Yeah. It's just, <laughs> you know, what, what other life would you want? Did you pour, did you eat it with sauce? No, I just try it normally. Just that's, mm. Mm. It's so soft. And I mean, you can tell when he cuts it, right? Because the knife just goes straight through, yeah. Oh, it's a really good knife. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> oh, it's a really good knife. But it's very, it's got a lot of, it's very juicy, right? It's like each, in between each like meat fiber, there's like fat, like kind of abada. So it like, it ends up being like really like melty. Mm. It's like beef, kind of a little bit of fat content, beef. Oh. Yeah, yeah, like you can see it, like in between all the beef is just little layers of fat. Mmm. But it definitely looks a lot more, it looks like it's got a lot more fat than this one, right? Like just appearance wise. Hello, hello, Tyler. Oh, sorry, yeah. <laughs> I was busy, like, I was in meat heaven right there. <laughs> this one just looks like it's got a lot more. Mm. That'll, 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 that'll surprise you a little. Like normally I get my meat well done, but when they're well done, it's kind of like a bit dried up, right? Oh. However, this one, it's still like very juicy. It looks very juicy on Did you outside. say you get your meat well done? Yeah, I always get well done. I don't know if we can be friends anymore. What? I'm sorry. Well done meat is, is, is done. Why do you do that to yourself? Mmm. 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 Right? Like you like that one better? Really? You got... Really? Yeah. It's different. But I like this one more. It's like A5. 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 Yeah, really? Yeah. Yeah, I'm like A5. I'm like A5. It's like A5. It's like A5. Tyler. We're going to get some drinks in the Great Sanomiya area, which is where the Misano Steak Place was located. We found actually a local bar. Yes. Or a bar a local recommended us, yes, I guess I should yeah. say. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. And this is a very lively area, right? Mm, yeah, this is where everybody comes to get their party on. So I figured we grab a couple drinks and, you know, yeah, yeah. rest and relax a little yeah. bit. Okay, let's go. All right, let's go. Let's go to Kampai. Smells so good. So basically, you've got everything from nature, like the waterfall we went to. You've got a tradition and culture, like the shrine. And then we've got, um, I mean, there's, there's many things. And the food, amazing food. Again, if you guys come to Kobe, like she said, there's definitely more than just your, your Kobe beef. 
yeah. there's the locals environment songnomia drinking which we're gonna do a little bit more of i want to do a little bit more of i don't know about this one but as well as there's really rich history and culture here with yeah. the old old waterfall and the amazingly old ikuta Jinja we went to as well. And I'm really glad we could go to, you know, one of the like original Kobe beef restaurants, mm. right? So anyways guys, if you if you like this video, please sure to give it a like, comment, and subscribe. These kind of things we don't get to do that often, but we really want to do more and more cool things like this. So the more it gets shared, the more views it gets, the more we're able to do these kind of awesome things. So please, please, please help a brother out. <laughs> help a brother out. <laughs> okay. Anyways, guys, take it easy. Bye-bye. Okay. Cheers.